A very good day and bit to everyone. My name is Ravina and I'm from UKM and today I'll be presenting our research entitled Cytotoxic Effects, Antioxidant Capacity and Collagenase Content of Badak Seju, also known as cooling powder made from Oryza sativa subspecies indica and Oryza sativa subspecies japonica on UVB-induced B16-4A5 melanoma. Moving on to the introduction, the photo shown here is the commercialized version of Badak Seju. And Badak Seju is this traditional fermented rice-based cosmetic in the form of water droplets or cone-shaped pastilles. And when these pastilles are mixed with water and applied on the skin as an overnight facial mask, it produces this cooling effect. And Badak Seju has been said to promote beautiful skin as well as facilitate skin whitening. For this research purpose, we made our very own Badak Seju using the method by Zulpaka et al. whereby one part of rice grains is soaked in one part of tap water and allowed to naturally ferment at room temperature. After 12 weeks of fermentation, the resulting rice paste is then put into the oven for drying, which results in this powdered version of badak seju as shown here. And for this study, we made two types of badak seju, which are from the indica rice grains, as well as the japonica rice grains. Moving on to the research justification, this is our skin. Our skin is subjected to a multitude of environmental insults including UV radiation from the sun. And when there's increased UV radiation, it results in decreased skin antioxidant defenses, as well as the breakdown of the skin extracellular matrix due to increased in matrix methylproteinases, MMPs, such as MMP1, which plays a major role in collagen breakdown in the skin. And with this accumulating damage due to UV radiation from the sun, it will ultimately result in skin cancer. And one form of skin cancer that I would like to highlight today is melanoma. Although melanoma accounts for less than 10% of skin cancers, it still accounts for a majority of skin cancer-related deaths due to its high metastatic potential as well as its resistance towards therapy. And this brings us to the investigation of Badat Seju made from Indica and Japonica rice grains as a potential tumor preventive agent. How so? By using UVB-induced b 16 melanoma as a model that resembles normal skin cells. But then again, why use Bedat Seju? Well, to date, the benefits of Bedat Seju are only backed up by generations and generations of usage as well as testimonies. So there could be some truth behind the testimonies of Bedat Seju in improving skin health. Moving on to the research question. This Badak Seju gives effects towards UVB-induced b 16 melanoma cell viability, as well as possessing antioxidant capacities and the potential to decrease MMP1. The research hypothesis is Badak Seju gives effects towards UVB-induced b 16 melanoma cell viability, as well as possessing antioxidant capacities and the potential to decrease MMP1. As for the objectives, firstly to determine the optimum dose of Badak Seju on UVB-induced b 16 melanoma, secondly to determine the antioxidant capacities of Badak Seju, and thirdly, is to determine the effect of Badak Seju towards the collagenase MMP1 content of UVB-induced b 16 a melanoma. As for the methodology, firstly, the b 16 a cells were cultured, followed by carrying out the cell growth curve to obtain the doubling time of 24 hours. Then the cells were UVB irradiated with 30 mJ per cm square. And then the MTT assay was carried out for Badak Seju dose optimization, whereby the cells were UVB irradiated. This is followed by the FRAP assay to identify the antioxidant capacities of Badat Seju. And finally, to determine the MMP1 content using the ELISA kit, whereby the cells were also UVB irradiated. This is followed by statistical analysis. Moving on to the results and discussion, firstly for the MTT assay, the graph shown here is from the positive control Menadion. And what we can see here is each tested concentration of Menadion was significant when compared to the negative control and an IC50 was obtained, which was 0 0.04 plus minus 0 0.02 millimolar. But with Badat Seju, surprisingly, there was no IC50 obtained, and hence, no cytotoxic effects. In fact, the results were not significant when all the tested concentrations were compared through negative control. Hence, the higher the dose of Badat Seju, the higher the cell viability of b 16 a melanoma. In this case, this is desirable because like I've mentioned previously, this is a model that resembles normal skin cells. And we use cancer cells because it multiplies and proliferates faster. And at the same time, it has an increased cell activity 
and cell metabolism, which is further induced by UVB. Plus, we are looking at the chemopreventive effects, not the anti-cancer effects. With that, two of the higher doses were chosen, which were 50 and 100 grams per liter, because at those two doses, the cell viability were at its highest, and that is the desired effect that we want. Hence, these two doses were chosen for the FRAP assay. Moving on to the FRAP assay, the graph shown here is, are the FRAP values of the Indica and Japonica Medazigil, and the values were expressed as ascorbic acid equivalent antioxidant capacity in the unit microgram ascorbic acid per gram of Medazigil. And as shown here, Japonica Medazigil at 100 grams per liter was significant when compared to other treatment groups. This can be explained by the fact that Japonica rice grains are cultivated in colder temperature, making their antioxidant activities more pronounced. Hence, in general, 100 grams per litre of Badatsuju was then chosen for the MMP1 assay because higher doses showed higher antioxidant capacity. Moving on to the MMP1 content, it can be seen here that the results are not significant when compared to negative control, and the results were also not significant when the treatments were compared with each other. Hence, both types of Badatsuju did not decrease the MMP1 concentration. But a study by Lee et al. found that this traditional med medicinal mushroom decreased MMP2 and MMP9 in B16 F10 cells, another variant of B16. So for uh, future studies, probably we could consider MMP2 and MMP9 to be investigated. In conclusion, Japonica Badatsuju has a higher antioxidant capacity compared to Indica Badatsuju, making it good for skin health. Both types of Badatsuju do not decrease MMP1 levels, and further investigations are needed before Indica and Japonica Badatsuju could be developed as potential melanoma chemopreventive agents. Here are my references, and as for the acknowledgements, I'd like to thank the Chemo Prevention Research Team, as well as the Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment, FKAB UKM, for their previous research on Badatsuju. With that, thank you.